On the far side, we have Jack Wilkie and Joel Cullen from Canada. See their Canadian blades, and they are on the left of your picture. And this side, we have the crew from the Netherlands, basically from Utrecht, the Triton Club. Eli Brewer and Pieter van Veen. So the Govitz Challenge Cup semi-final, White Wing Cullen versus Brewer and Van Veen. We've already seen at the start, it's really hard actually to get the, especially these Coxes boats, to get this straight line that you want. Although you can line up with, with the signs right behind you as an athlete, you can see behind the umpire's launch that there are lines you can line up with. But as you come around the island, the, 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 the sort of bank on one side moves away from you, the island moves towards you, and you can see why crews sort of have to adjust until they get to this point, and then you feel it's straight down the course. So it is the Dutch on this near side that have a very slight lead. The Dutch under-23 team have been uh, brought over here just to test their paces out. They're rowing with Dutch blades. Talked with Rohir Blink, who's kind of the team manager slash coach yesterday. And he was really chuffed that six out of seven Dutch under-23 crews got through to their semi-finals, which is a pretty decent return. Fantastic to see, and it's and it's really lovely to see how many international crews come over and make this regatta. It's a it's a sort of funny time of the season. It's usually in between other big racing events, um, so it's wonderful that people do prioritise trying to get onto this course and, and get through to take these titles. Yeah, this Dutch crew looked after by uh, Marcia Gaven, and uh, currently these lads are studying in Utrecht. Brewer's doing a master's in bioformatics, would you believe? And uh, Van Veen is doing a master's in law. So they're obviously well-qualified lads. But um, they won the national championships in the pair. They were in the second World Cup in Varese. Well, I thought they did really well. They did a quick time in the semi. I think they did something like 6.23 or 6.24 in the semi, which is pretty quick for 2K. They did 6.27 in the final behind the British pair of Wing Griffith and George, who are in tomorrow's final, who did a 6.13. I mean, that is stunning. So it's that gives you an idea of the standard of these crews we're they seeing. They are, and, and at the moment, again, this is this is these you know, wonderful shots we talk about. You can see right down the course, the umpire's launch, and yet, frustratingly, as a commentator and probably as a viewer, you can't quite tell how the crews are doing. This is another very, very tight race. It looked like, up until the point the camera shifted, that actually they were pretty much stroke for stroke. So a real battle ahead between the Dutch and the Canadians to see who will join the British pair in the final. Um, and again, so much at stake here. It's a big event to go for, forward and race the final tomorrow against that impressive Dutch, um, Dutch British pair. So I know if you're watching from Canada, you will be really interested to see the fate of uh, Jack Wakeley and Joel Cullen. Also, if you're watching from the west coast of the USA, you'll know that these two guys are from the Washington Varsity 8. They're Huskies and they finished seconds in the IRA National Championships behind Cal. And, um, well, really, really strong crew. And uh, they are right in there at the moment. And it's quite interesting. Um, I think the bowman, his back is just to us, Jack Wakeley. His uh, mum and dad both rode. Colleen Miller, uh, she rode, she won gold in the lightweight women's double at the 95 Worlds. And she was seventh in the 96 Olympics. And his dad, Jack, Brooklyn rode in the Canadian Men's A in 94 and 95 World Championships. It is neck and neck, a fantastic race. The Dutch went off quickly, but the two Huskies, the men from Canada, just on cue there, as I was talking about the rowing heritage of Jack Walkley, went, moved through. So there we are, we're in the semi-final of the Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup for international men's pairs. The young Canadians on the right of your picture, they were led off the start by the two young Dutch, Brewer and Van Veen, on the left of your picture. But now you can see they've just edged their bows in front. It's a fantastic contest. Yeah, it looks like the Canadians have made their move. They've got this lovely, relaxed, long rhythm that they didn't they didn't worry about being so close neck and neck with the Dutch at the start. They've just sort of settled into that sort of long rangey stroke and very efficient, very effective, and they're just trying to move out. They've probably got just under a length over the Dutch at the moment. Yeah, and they can't have been in this pair for long. If they rode in the eight, they probably what had three weeks rode in the pair. 
uh, compared with the Dutch, who have obviously been in it for longer because they raced at the Varese World Cup. Yeah, and what will get interesting is probably only half length. The Dutch seem to be responding already, so they lifted the right and they're pulling back up to the Canadians is when you're a newer crew, especially in the small boats, when you come under pressure, whether it's the intensity of the end of a race or under pressure like a, a, a competitive crew like the Dutch, is how you respond when you haven't been long together. That's a great shout. And the thing I remember about Dutch, having experienced it at first hand, i.e. being rowed through in the last 300 metres, is the Dutch have a fantastic finish. So, you know, it's kind of wired into their DNA. So if you're watching this from the Netherlands, there's the crew from the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, I think they will have a finish in them. So this race isn't done yet. Yeah, and what you want is, you know, when you see that, that sort of, I mean, that's a great, a lovely shot as well, that really lovely synchronicity, the timing between the two of them, they're really moving well, well together. That almost gives you the base work. So if and when you need to come up through the power, through the rate, you've got an incredible strong base to build on and see how it goes. So it is the men from Canada, Jack Walkley and Joel Cullen, the Huskies on the right of your picture, 21 and 23. The older man in the stroke seat, Joel Cullen, and they are still leading the Dutch, but they have put themselves back in contention. And if Eli Brewer and Pieter van Veen have got anything in their back pockets for a sprint, we're going to see fireworks in the last part of this race. We're coming up to stewards, Catherine. Yeah, this is this is such a crucial part of the race, and it's, I mean it really is babble to babble at the moment. The Dutch have gone up a little bit earlier and higher in rate, so they're, they've brought themselves right back up. There's just a, there's only a babble probably in it between the two crews, and at the moment it's the, it's the Dutch that seem to have the momentum rhythm behind them. So we're now going to find out how the Canadians can respond. The Canadians have shortened up a little bit, which is I guess kind of natural. You know, it's what you do. You want to get a higher rate of striking. They're going up 38, 39 to 40. They really want that rate to go, help them go through the roof. But at the moment, the Dutch are still there. They're rowing longer. They've gone for their sprint now. The Canadians, though, they've shortened up and they're charging. Yeah, I think that high rate for the Canadians is working. Like you said, they have shortened their strokes up considerably, but that high rate is really getting them some speed. It's coming right down to these last few strokes. With the Canadians just ahead, they've probably moved out to maybe, oh no, maybe not even anything. So this is the semi-final of the Goblet. It's a fantastic race. It's the fair Wakley and Cullen on the far side from Canada. They've shown that, but they are using their power to good effect. But the Dutch, will they have that sprint finish? Will they pull it out to good effect? The Dutch are losing it. The Canadians coming through on the far side. They take it from the Dutch. The Dutch just lost it, and he smacks the side of the boat. Eli Brewer, the 22-year-old bowman, in frustration. And Jack Walkley, with the rowing parents who have won medals galore, pats his stroke man on the back. What a race. What an incredible race. Four athletes giving absolutely everything down that course. And you just saw the slight shipwreck from the Dutch crew right at the end and it allowed the Canadians to just get that jump on them. What an amazing race to watch and what a heartbreaking race to lose. There's the um, margin at the finish just about half a length. But it was lovely to see that mutual respect. The first thing they did is they turned to each other, gave the thumbs up. Isn't that so important? I mean, your mind is racing, your body's exhausted, and actually still to find that, that space and that moment of respect is so important.